Hello fellow renegades, it's James here, and the first content update for Hawked is right around the corner, which is March 19th, called Venture 3, and I thought I'd uh, give you a quick overview of what we can expect and what that might look like. So the first thing is the story will continue, the story quests. If you remember, if you've completed the quests already, if you haven't, then, you know, spoilers. But uh, it ends with you and the other guys, Bjorn, Nelly, Bodhi and Cynthia, doing a ritual in front of the Glyphstone, and then familiars emerge, and it ends with saying, well, these familiars are going to choose their champions, and you're going to have to be patient because they're still deciding. Well, they've now decided, and um, it continues as follows. I read... Familiars have chosen their champions in the form of Cynthia, Nelly, Bjorn and Bodhi, and it's up to you to help them find their destiny. This will simply be a continuation of the story quests. I will be interested to know and find out if we'll get more rewards for these quests, because of course some of these story quests we did before rewarded two artifacts. Next thing is weapon upgrades. What you can now do is uh, when you're on exile and you're at an extraction point, you can now use your creds, which is, you know, the, the currency, your coins you can collect while you're in exile, to upgrade your weapons. So rather than only having the option to buy them by going to a shop and hoping there's something good available there, right, you can upgrade the weapon you possess. So if you have, you know, a green and uncommon weapon, you can now buy an upgrade to make it rare and of course then make it more powerful and help you survive and kill enemies faster. But this is a new, uh, another avenue to upgrade your loadout and your weapons. And this, I think, is especially useful if, for instance, you happen to be out of luck, shit out of luck, and you just can't find anything better than uncommon weapons, you know, green, while perhaps you're already halfway through the game and you go, well, most people who are still alive probably have rare and epics. I need to fucking upgrade. So uh, if you have the creds, um, you can do that, which is quite helpful. It adds another another way to really improve your loadout and your survivability. Part of the update is more loot. Three new artifacts will now be available to be found and extracted from exile, so, you know, try not to die. And uh, it remains to be seen what these artifacts are and what they do. We have no information regarding those yet. So, you know, are they, they going to be balanced? Are they going to be OP and become the new meta? Are they going to be dog shit and have to be tuned? We'll find out. But it's certainly cool to have these additions, especially so early on, and hopefully really be able to loosen up the meta that has now already been established <laughs> in these first few weeks. And this goes kind of hand in hand with the fourth big part of this update, and that is a class system. Now, it's not a class system in the in the classic sense, in that you have a number of presets that you choose from, like for instance, you know, your Call of Duty loadouts, uh, or whatever, um, but rather, when you're in your loadout screen, it's not really a class, a fixed class, but it's to try and explain to you what kind of playstyle you're now playing and what advantages you can expect regarding the three artifacts you currently have in your loadout. So as you switch around artifacts, your class, your description will change, and that's a really good way to give you an overview of what kind of playstyle you can expect going into a game if you're trying to have a new combination of artifacts. It can be a little overwhelming because there are quite a number of artifacts, and it's easier to kind of go with the meta of the established two, three best build sort of thing and this will just help you give you an overview to really try things out and immediately see is this something you enjoy playing without having to do loads of games and then ending up upgrading the artifacts and realizing they're kind of dog shit <laughs> you know and th they do want to try and stay away from a very fixed meta emerging where only three or four specific builds are really viable and everyone's playing those uh, which is a really good thing and this makes it easier to be motivated to experiment a little and find something that you really enjoy playing and works for you and the last thing is just little things, little improvements, so classic bug squashing, we want to get rid of those things. And they're also making some changes to UI elements to make them more user friendly. So this is sort of the, the overview of what we can expect from this first um, content update called Venture 3. If you don't know why it's called Venture 3, uh, the way updates and the future of content updates works is that Hawk consists of phases, and each phase is called an issue. Each issue consists of four separate ventures. So four separate smaller updates like this update we're getting, which add little things like 
artifacts and in this case the class system descriptors as well as weapon upgrades right and each issue so when a new issue comes out those are the really really big overhauls which happens once every quarter so we can expect four issues per year that's when exile changes and you really notice significant differences than from before sort of like when chapters are released for Fortnite and the island changes that's what you can kind of expect um, so that means we can expect one more venture update and after that issue number two will be released and I will be going into what that entails because we do have a roadmap and that actually looks quite exciting so the future for Hawk has potential it's looking good and I'm actually quite excited and I'm really excited to actually bring you that content as well so I hope this was informative for you I hope you now know what we can expect in the coming days uh, so you know what you're getting into and what you can look forward to have fun guys have good loot good artifacts great trinkets extract successfully don't die too much and do some proper killing and i'll see you soon bye bye